Blender 4, like the previous versions of the application, are not available from the App Store, so have to be downloaded directly from blender.org. So once we're on that site, click on the download button. And for Mac, we'll get two versions. We'll get the Intel version and the Apple Silicon version. If we don't know which one to install, we can find that out by clicking on the Apple icon top left corner about this Mac and that will give us some basic information in this case we want the processor and to a lesser extent the graphics so we've got an Intel system here so we download the Intel version of Blender 4 so click download This may take a while. Then once it's downloaded, we can double click the DMG file from the browser or, or the downloads folder in Finder. So double click. That'll open up the installer. So all we need to do here is click drag, drop the application into the applications folder. And if, here's a tip, if we have another version installed before we install Blender 4, we can rename the app. So in this case, Blender 3.6 LTS, and that will allow us to install another instance of Blender. So let's rename this as well. Blender 4.0 and that will operate independent of any other previously installed version. So all we need to do now is just double click and it will start Blender. Verifying the app. This might present a security dialog. Just open and there is Blender. So if it's open for the first time with this being Blender 4.0, this is a new series, so it may present us with this setup dialog. Here we want to set the select with, so left click or right click, and then all we need to do is save new settings. So we'll choose right click, it's the traditional way of doing things, and then click on save new settings. We'll then get the generic banner. All we need to do now is just click anywhere and we can use Blender.